Hey everyone, it's Melissa. I just realized as I was starting this video that it's the same hairstyle that I wore in my last video. And between these two times, I have, I've worn it every other way there is to wear it. And then on the day that I wear it the same way is when I choose to do an introduction to this video. But anyway, I'm doing a cooking video. I filmed it the other day. And I don't do a lot of cooking videos because I'm not a great cook. I'm no kind of cook, really, a chef. You know, I'm a very average cook. Um, I need usually a recipe. And even after I've cooked things for a really long time, sometimes I still need to follow the recipe again. If, if I'm going to do a chore, I would rather clean than cook. Now, I enjoy cooking my Sunday dinners, and I enjoy cooking for Christmas, Thanksgiving, that type of thing. But on the day-to-day -day basis, um, you know, I'm not the best cook. I'm not the worst, but I'm not the best. But we have found a way through my daughter, actually. She's the one that first started doing it to eat Brussels sprouts. Doug and I have always liked them, but this takes it up to the next level. These are so good prepared this way. It just really is just delicious. Um, Doug, Doug will say, can we please have those Brussels sprouts at least once a week? And I will cook a pound of them and there's nothing usually left over. They're just that good. They're just, I don't know, the flavors are just so tasty. Now, you're gonna laugh at me because uh, I, I get mine kind of brown, you know, kind of, I kind of char them a little bit. Now my daughter does it differently. I just cut ours in half or buy them cut in half. Sometimes I'll go ahead and buy them cut in half and uh, I will saute them and kind of char them that way. Now my daughter, she cuts them up into small, pretty small pieces and she sautes them that way. That way they're kind of a little more done and just, just a little brown so that's you know our preference we just kind of like them charred you know we think that's kind of good and also when i cook i'm a fiddler uh i just fiddle with my food especially if i'm sauteing something but you know if i'm boiling something i'll you know i'll stir all the time so i noticed uh in this video i'm just always going over and stirring and flipping and so you know just fiddling with it all the time so uh you know Take that into consideration too. If you're not a fiddler, I am. I think, you know, some people are and some people just leave it. Don't, don't want to touch it, but I, I have to fiddle with it. Uh, it's Brussels sprouts, like I said, very simple. But uh, my, like I said, my daughter started doing it and we do it a little bit differently. We like it a little bit different. Uh, we like it a little more charred and a little firmer. And she likes it a little bit different way, but the other ingredients are still the same. I'm gonna do a voiceover and show me cooking them. So I hope you enjoyed this and give it a try and let me know if you try it. I'm very curious what you think about it and if you think it's a good way to, especially kids. My grandkids love this. They will say, are you gonna fix those sprouts again? Um, and then my, my daughter's uh, children will say, is it time to have the sprouts again? So for the kids to ask for a vegetable, that's, you know, that's really something, but it's good. It's good, I hope you like it. Okay, I'm going to attempt a voiceover. That is actually two pieces of bacon that I've cut into little, you know, squares. Uh, it's thick bacon. You could use three slices. And that is about a pound of Brussels sprouts. They're already cut in half, and I wash them off. Make sure they're good and dry so that it won't, you know, pop out when you're trying to saute it. And then I add some walnuts or pecans. I just happened to have walnut, walnuts that day, maybe, a, and then some uh, maple syrup, about a, maybe a fourth a cup of maple syrup, and then I'm going to tie my hair up. That's what it looks like. And I also had chicken piccata that day, so I'm showing that. We're going to do some fast motion. I put that on about medium to medium high and then start adding the Brussels sprouts. I don't put any um, like grease or anything in it because the bacon makes its own grease. And the pan, it's it's good if it's kind of a non-stick sautéing pan type thing. And so I just start fiddling with it. And as the bacon starts browning, I take an extra fork and sort of turn it over to make sure it gets brown all over because I want that bacon cooked. And I also make sure then I wash my wooden spoon so that I can reuse it with done food because I don't want it to have the the germs on it from the raw bacon. So I do that and 
fiddle with it some more, turn the sprouts around and kind of, kind of work with them. But I mainly want to get that bacon done. And also to make sure, and I turned it up, I don't know if you noticed, I turned it up just a little bit to get it a little bit more, oh, a little bit more sauteed. And then that's, I'm starting to use the spoon again. That's getting toward done, and I'm ready to add the nuts, I think. Um, it's, it's hard to estimate how much I add of everything, but um, I'll kind of let you help me judge. I'm going to guess a half a cup of walnuts. Let's see. Is that, I don't know if it, half a cup to a cup. Let's say that. Three fourths? <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm real bad at estimate. I'm going to go with a half a cup or so, is what I'm going to say in the description. Turned it up just a little bit more. Now I'm going to saute those those nuts and the grease from the bacon will help to keep it from sticking but like I said use a non-stick skillet if you can that really helps a whole lot well it's kind of vital then I'm going to probably add about a fourth a cup of the maple syrup and you can add more or less according to how you like it and then I let it kind of caramelize a little bit I turned it down a little bit but I sort of let it caramelize and sort of caramelize on those sprouts too. It makes it really good. And then we'll turn it off. That's it. That's all of it. And that's what it looks like when it's done. So I hope you like it. So I hope you did like that. Thank you so much for watching. It was it was fun to do and get out and do something else. I wanted to do a few more things. My oldest granddaughter and I were thinking about getting around, out and filming a few things. I have put pictures of kudzu on Instagram and that's kind of fat. It's, it's a plant that grows very uh, aggressively here in the south and it envelops trees and bushes and just everything it touches it grows and envelops so this time of year it's all green and it's enveloped trees and it looks like it's it looks like something from another planet like we've got whole, whole forests of them just covered up with trees so it looks like you're transported into another planet it really does so uh, she and I thought we might go around and kind of get out a little bit and film some things like that I'm not going to show her she will just be in the car with me and uh, you know we'll be you might hear a voice but you know I don't show my grandchildren so we might do that a little bit just to kind of get out of the house so I appreciate you watching so much everybody please stay safe please take care of yourselves I love you all and talk to you in a couple of days bye bye